Hey everybody, it's Cotton here, and I am bringing you some more of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last video, we made our way even further into the Earth Temple, and in this video, we will probably be finishing it off. And we're also going to be tackling the biggest room in the dungeon and probably the whole game. But first, I think what I'm going to do is uh, push this over. I was uh, originally planning on having Medley jump up there, but I think I can get, like, one less uh, song done. And, oh, you can actually walk through this. Whoa. I never tried this before. Oh, that's cool. I'm kind of curious to see what will happen. You know what? I'm going to do it. I might ruin something, but I'm going to try. I wonder what happens when... Uh, you turn that into a, a normal chest with Link inside of it. Uh, but here we can press that down and we open up our first source of light. And we are going to be using that single source to light up this entire room. And there are a lot of places where... There's a lot of reflections, pretty much. Uh, and so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to light that and see what... Oh, it won't let me. Uh, it won't let... Or no, it will. There we go. I had to get the right spot. Link just floats. Yeah, he just goes right through it. <laughs> okay, now I got that figured out. Uh, let's see. Next, I guess I can get rid of that thing. And then, before I do anything else, I believe I want to point this down there. And there we go. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't break the game. <laughs> Nintendo is, uh, they're too good of developers to let something like that happen. At least I hope they are. <laughs> they were in this case, but, uh, here we've got, uh, four of these walls to break apart. We actually have to destroy all of them in this case because there is another statue behind it. Another mirror, actually. And now that those are gone, we can actually push this around. And there's a, there's a couple of pots there. I'm kind of curious as to what's in them. So I'm going to take a quick look. Lots of rupees. Lots, or a few rupees, I guess. But enough to, enough to go out of your way for it. To slightly go out of your way for it. But uh, this place actually isn't that bad. All, I mean, it... You're really not going to be confused. All you have to do is just push all of the mirrors into their slots. You know, if they maybe made this so that you could, you know, these weren't on like specified tracks and you had to, um, like, figure out where to put all of these on your own, then it would have been a lot more difficult. But, um, yeah, you know, just follow the tracks. That's pretty much all you need to do. The only hard part in this room is really just going back and forth between Link and Medley. And, uh, you know, you can... The GameCube version this room was kind of... Kind of a mess. Uh, especially considering that, you know, like, the song repeated itself, like, every single time you played it. And let's see if she'll actually drop down. Yeah, she will. And so that is this side completed. So as you can see, we have another one of these faces, so we have to get lights facing both of these pedestals here. That is our uh, main objective. And let's see, we can push this, so I'll do that first before I move Medley around. Okay, so, well, I had to do that first, I guess. And uh, let's see. So we've got that. That one's stuck there. We've got that. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think I can take control of her. And I'll have her take care of all of these things. Uh, first thing we can do is actually get rid of that. That leads to a room that we will do in a little bit. I won't do that right now. I'll just do that once I actually get all of this stuff completed first. So we get that opened up, and then now um, we have to shine the light down here for Link. So that he can take care of business. So when you actually know what you're doing, like, this this room isn't that bad. Like, the first time you're in here, it seems kind of daunting, and you kind of have to take 
you know, a, a few glances around at everything to kind of figure out what to do. But like I said, once you figure out that you're really just, you know, putting all these mirrors, like, just following them along their track here, it's not much... It's... this room isn't really that bad. And so there's a couple more pots there. I'm gonna destroy those. I hope that they have more rupees in them. So I'll just take a quick look over here. See what's inside. Yep, more rupees. That's good. Like I said, you are going to need a lot of rupees, so you might as well collect all of these. And I forgot to have her open this chest, but that's no big deal. I can do it myself. Now you can see Link's shield reflecting there. <laughs> uh, but let's see, was that everything? Nope, nope, nope. Got this last one to do. Oh, she moves out of the way. Look at her. Look at her being all smart. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's not like when Tetra was uh, like walking into the wall inside the uh, inside the castle. <laughs> Medley's got some brains on her. <laughs> but now we've pretty much got the room completed. I'm just gonna grab this. Get out of there. I'm just gonna grab the chest really quick. And then take care of what we need to take care of. And so first I will take control of Medley to do this. So I'll give her this side over here. Have her jump up on this... No! <laughs> Have her jump up on this one and shine it into the eye. And now I can have Link do the same thing for the other side. So I'll come up here, and then reflect the light. So remember, all of this is done from that one source of light. <laughs> it's kind of cool, it's kind of cool, I have to say. Now let's see, I need to try to remember... I will... I'll bring her with me anyway. Uh, I don't believe I actually need her inside this other room, but I'm gonna take her. Because if I don't bring her, she'd respawn up at that door, and I don't want to have to like play the song again so I'll just bring her with but in here we actually do have to destroy all of the enemies so there's no like way to cheat it and I messed up already uh, let's see in order to get back up you just pull this out and climb back up I feel like I'm hearing noises I think it's from outside but it's, it's... It's kind of odd, probably just somebody walking by. And I don't really want to have all three of them out at once, but I don't want to come up here three times just to get a reflection going. Whoa, whoa, why did that... I think I pressed the button a little too early. Hey, come on. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on, come on. Get back here. No, no, no. No, I took too long. Uh, so you can kind of see why I really hate these guys. Um, especially now that I've got like multiple guys here. It's really hard to just pick one. Luckily, this guy's by himself, so I can take care of him really quick. There we go. There we go, and he's alone as well, so I can take care of him. No, no, no. Do that, that's what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. There we go, that's what I wanted. And now this guy's by himself, so he won't be any trouble at all. There we go. Doing that makes a chest appear, and that is... Uh, the final, like, chest in the game. Um, of course, we still have the uh, the big key to get, or the boss key, whatever it's called. But this is the actual last chest in the whole dungeon. So it contains the uh, second treasure chart that we need. And that has pretty much completed everything we need to do in the dungeon. The only thing left is getting the big key. And, of course, that is down here in the room that we just opened up. 
Uh, you also don't need Medley in this room either. Actually, yeah, I could have just left her, and then she would have spawned on top, and then... Yeah, I think I messed up a little bit. Um, but let's see. We've got some poison guys in here, as well as the dark nut. Uh, so I'm gonna take care of these guys first, because not being able to attack would not be a good thing, obviously. No, 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 get out of here, get out of here. And there we go. Ah, the lock-on system is kind of messing me up here. And there we go, got the head first. It's always good to get the head first. Oh, and one thing, like if you've noticed what I've been doing, I attack him a little slow. When you do like a complete combo, you'll do that spin attack and it'll make them like fall over. But you can't damage them while they're like that. But they still have more hits for you to do on them. So I attack them extra slow just so that, you know, I can kill them faster. I picked up that technique from watching uh, speedrunners do it. But uh, getting rid of those guys gets us the big key. And now that is everything... That's everything in the dungeon, so all that's left is to fight the boss. And so actually I think I am just going to um, cut to when I get back into that big room. Or, yeah, I think I will, because I have to do a lot of climbing, and that's really, really boring. So, I will see you guys back there. Okay, now that we've done all that climbing and gotten that out of the way, we can continue on to the boss. Which is just right over there. You can float along with Medley here. Hopefully she has enough juice in her to make it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we got a few pots here to destroy. Hopefully we got some fairies, because I could use them. I do have potions and stuff on me, but, uh, oh well. I don't think I should actually get hit, so I think I will just chance it going inside. Now, the boss of the Earth Temple. I believe his name is Jalhala or something. And so, of course, we have to use the item that we were given in this dungeon. So he has a couple of attacks. One where he, you know, breathes in a whole bunch of air and then blows it back, trying to hit you into the spikes because this entire room is covered in spikes. Uh, but what you need to do is shine the light on him, which will turn him solid. He also has another attack where he'll spit fire at you. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But what you need to do is just pick him up throw them down, and then charge up your hurricane spin. So before you do this dungeon, you really want to make sure you get the hurricane spin because it doesn't, it not only makes this fight a lot easier, it also makes it a lot more fun, as you can see there. Once you do that, he, um, you know, splits off into the, uh, all the other guys, and you just have to destroy all of them. And so as you can see, he was about to do his other fire attack. You know he's going to do the fire one because it turns the room all bright and fire-like. Um, but you just repeat the same thing over again. I think they will only let you destroy so many of these guys at a time. As you can tell by how quickly he's uh, returning back to normal. You know, I mean, you can take them down any other way by, like, you know, maybe shooting them with arrows or maybe, um, you know, just hitting them with your sword. But I think the hurricane spin is just so much more satisfying. So you really want to get that because it's just so much fun. And it's really like the only time in the game that I really find the hurricane spin like all too useful. And let's get the final one! That would have sucked to have, have to do that again with just one guy remaining. <laughs>
And now with him defeated, we can grab our heart container. Now I also wanted to say, like, it's kind of kind of spooky because we just fought the guy that killed Laruto. We fought the guy that killed the previous sage. I mean, that guy, that was the guy that murdered her. That was the guy that ended her life. I just think it's... I don't know, it's just kind of kind of s creepy when you think about it. But, after you got your heart piece, step into the middle. Prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former energy. There is but one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. Cotton, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Cotton, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. And Cotton. Um, about Prince Komali. Please watch over him for me. But before we go find the Wind Sage, I am actually going to go tackle the Savage Labyrinth. So, I will see you guys at Outset Island in the next video.